Hello everyone and happy holidays. Today we're talking about something odd and unlike anything I have ever covered before. And that is the horror story of Downard Funeral Home in Pocatello, Idaho. Okay, so to get started, these are a few real reviews left by customers of the funeral home. This one states, quote, attended a service at Downard's funeral home. Services were beautiful, but was ruined by the most pugnacious smell ever. All the guests were very overwhelmed by it. Something was definitely wrong. We'll never go there again, end quote. And once you know the full background of this funeral home, that review will become 10 times more terrifying. Downard Funeral Home is located in, like I said before, Pocatello, Idaho at 241 North Garfield Avenue and is owned by Lance Peck and his wife. Lance also owns Portna Valley Crematory, which is located inside of Downard Funeral Home. Lance and his funeral home have been serving the community of Pocatello and Bannock County since 1931. But things took an unexpected turn in September of this year when seemingly out of nowhere, the funeral home was shut down and had its license revoked by the Idaho Board of Morticians. This shutdown came after multiple reports of an overwhelmingly foul odor coming from the funeral home as well as actual missing bodies. And also after reports of a decomposing body visible for several days through one of the funeral home's front windows. I've kind of pieced together an unsettling timeline of what led to the funeral home's abrupt closure. On March 24th of this year, investigators went to Downard Funeral Home for routine inspections. While there, Lance reported that his cremation chamber had exploded during the last cremation, causing major damage and rendering it useless. At the time of this incident, Lance said he received six cadavers from Idaho State University for cremation. Downard Funeral Home has had a long-standing relationship with ISU. When people wanted the bodies of their loved ones donated to ISU for study, Lance was in charge of facilitating the transfer of a cadaver or the anatomical parts. Lance would also cremate bodies for ISU when they were done with them. At this inspection, investigators found no noticeable smell and it seemed as though everything was in order. According to documents, the refrigeration unit was functioning properly. Lance told officials that his crematory had been placed on a waiting list for repairs, and in the meantime, he had contacted other local crematories to help until his facility was repaired. Downard remained in close contact with the Division of Licenses and had stated that on August 23rd, the repairs would begin, but that would never come to take place. Lance has had a long history of trouble with Idaho's Division of Occupational and Professional Licensing, which brought to light a recent investigation into Downard Funeral Home. A few months after the March inspection, a family had contacted the Division of Licenses stating that their mother, who went by the initials of LL, had died on January 18th, 2016, and that Lance had agreed to take her remains to ISU as per the woman's wishes. Lance explained to the family that the university's cadaver program would have their mother's remains for five years. They agreed, but this year, which was the five-year mark, the family tried contacting Lance about the return of their mother's remains, but got no response back from him. They ended up contacting ISU, who then told them that their mother's remains had been returned to Lance back in April of 2017. ISU reported that in May of 2020, they actually ended their relationship with Lance, primarily due to downward feeling to provide previously agreed upon anatomical donations to the university over a six year period. ISU also discovered evidence that Lance told at least two families that the remains of their loved ones had been donated to ISU, but ISU had no record of the individuals or any record of receiving the remains. This allegation is what sparked the investigation into Lance and Downard Funeral Home. During the start of the investigation, investigators found six additional obituaries saying that the remains had been donated to ISU and that Downard Funeral Home handled the arrangements. But again, ISU did not have any record of those individuals or their remains. While investigating where the lost remains were at, investigators got multiple calls regarding an overwhelmingly foul odor coming from the funeral home. There were also reports from multiple people that a decomposing body that had been left on a preparation table was visible from the street through a front window of the funeral home. The body had been laying on the table for several days, which is especially troubling as Pocatello High School is directly across the street and many students have seen this horrifying sight. If matters couldn't get any worse, there was yet another report that a decomposing body in a body bag had just been left in one of the funeral home's vehicles, which was reportedly pretty visible. It was at this point that the Bannock County Coroner was contacted. On August 31st of this year, investigators with the Division of Licensing stopped by Downard Funeral Home and noticed that the building was locked. But, a garage door in the back was open, and upon getting closer, they could instantly smell an overwhelmingly foul odor coming out of the building. With no warrant, they couldn't enter the building, and from the outside, all of the windows had been covered, and they didn't see any decomposing bodies. Regardless of not physically seeing anything, investigators reported the condition of the funeral home to the police, and when they arrived the next day, they found something extremely unsettling. 
Investigators found a badly decomposing body laying out in the garage. According to Lance, the body had been there for a month. For perspective, Idaho state law requires that bodies either be embalmed, cremated, or placed in refrigeration within 24 hours of the funeral home receiving the body. Surprisingly, the next day, Lance voluntarily gave up his license. On September 2nd, the funeral home was raided by the Pocatello Police Department, and a further search of the garage revealed multiple body boxes covered in decomposing human remains. Another badly decomposing body was found in the garage in a plastic bag. In total, PPD found and removed 12 decomposing and unrefrigerated bodies. Authorities also found a collection of 61 fetuses contained in jars. According to reports, those fetuses were a part of a collection donated to ISU for study, but they were quickly picked back up by Downard Funeral Home, where they were supposed to be cremated. According to Pocatello Police Captain Bill Collins, all 12 bodies have been identified, but they still have about 30 to 40 sets of cremated remains yet to be identified. Although Lance voluntarily gave up his license, it was officially revoked on September 14th, and Downard Funeral Home has been closed ever since. Documents obtained by East Idaho News show that between 2015 and 2018, Lance and his funeral home faced multiple civil disciplinary actions, ranging from not filing the proper paperwork to operating without a valid license. Exactly how they were able to proceed with business without being fully investigated after this is a mystery. I also found another review left by a customer of Downard Funeral Home that was posted six years ago. Pause to read if you need to, I just wanted to add this in to show how long this type of behavior from Lance has been going on. As of right now, Lance has been ordered to pay nearly $5,000 in investigative fees. And while this is now being treated as a criminal investigation, no one has been arrested or charged criminally for what investigators have uncovered. Of course, this is still an active, ongoing investigation, so that could very easily change. So that is the story of Downard Funeral Home. I'll see you guys next time, but until then, stay safe.